Swing Time, released in 1936, stands tall as a timeless classic in Hollywood's repertoire. This captivating film, directed by George Stevens and starring Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, encapsulates the epitome of 1930s musical cinema. Have you ever found yourself enchanted by the mesmerizing choreography and the undeniable chemistry between the lead actors? For those who've witnessed this cinematic gem, when was the first time you experienced its allure? Perhaps it was the seamless dance routines or the irresistible charm of the storyline that left an indelible mark. Fred Astaire's magnetic screen presence or Ginger Rogers' grace and talent did one of these classic Hollywood actors steal the show for you. This movie not only entertained but also paved the way for numerous dance routines to become iconic in the history of cinema. Did you know that the famous Bajangles of Harlem number was Astaire's homage to renowned dancer Bill Robinson? We'd love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to swing time. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Let's keep the magic of this classic film alive through shared experiences. Swing Time, released in 1936, holds a significant place in cinema history. This movie gained recognition for its song of fine romance, which earned a spot among the American Film Institute's nominations for the top 100 America's greatest music in the movies. With a 97% rating based on 29 critic reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, it stands as a highly acclaimed film in the eyes of many. Directed by George Stevens, known for his perfectionism, the movie's production saw multiple takes, even for non-dancing scenes. Stevens' attention to detail and insistence on achieving perfection contributed to the film's quality, making it a standout piece in the realm of classic cinema. The enduring praise and critical acclaim solidify swing time as a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences with its musical prowess and meticulous craftsmanship. The film Swing Time holds a significant place in cinema history. In 2007, the American Film Institute recognized its greatness by ranking it as the 90 greatest American movie of all time. This acknowledgement came a while after the original list, highlighting the enduring impact and appreciation for this classic. The movie's evolution included the removal of a musical number, it's not in the cards due to length and quality concerns, leaving only fragments in the final version. Notably, an extended dance sequence involving blackface makeup worn by Fred Astaire limited its televised appearances for years. However, Turner Classic Movies now airs it regularly, often accompanied by discussions about this particular scene's context and historical significance. These aspects contribute to the multifaceted discussion surrounding swing time, emphasizing its place in cinematic history and the ongoing dialogue about its content. The 1936 movie Swing Time marked the sixth collaboration between Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Their partnership remains iconic in the history of dance on screen. Notably, the film secured its place in the American Film Institute's 2004 list of the top 100 America's greatest music in the movies, claiming the 43rd spot for the timeless song The Way You Look Tonight. In this movie, during the scene for the song, Ginger Rogers struggled to keep soap from running down her face while washing her hair. The crew experimented with various options, finally finding success using whipped cream to achieve the desired effect. This particular detail sheds light on the meticulous attention to detail in creating iconic scenes. The film's legacy is defined by the enduring partnership of Astaire and Rogers and the recognition it received for its unforgettable music. American President Barack Obama referenced a quote from the movie Swing Time in his 2009 inauguration speech. His words, we must pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and begin again the work of remaking America, echoed the song lyric pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and start all over again. This notable mention highlighted the enduring relevance and impact of Swing Time beyond its initial release. The film, part of the American Film Institute's 1998 list of 400 nominated movies for the top 100 greatest American movies, continues to resonate through its timeless messages, influencing even the highest levels of public discourse. Fred Astaire's character in the 1936 movie Swing Time portrays a dancer turned gambler, forming the namesake Lucky Penny with the other protagonist. Notably, the $25,000 Lucky needs in the film equates to over $530,000 in 2022. However, one striking element lies in the Bajangles of Harlem number, 
Despite its tribute title to Bill Bojangles Robinson, the routine actually pays homage to Astaire's mentor, John Bubbles, depicting Bubbles' sport in life in Porgy and Bass. Astaire emulates Bubbles' rhythmic tap style, distinct from Robinson's, offering a unique portrayal that resonated with audiences familiar with Bubbles' iconic performances. This homage adds depth to Astaire's tribute and enriches the understanding of his creative choices in the film. The shadow dance concept for Bojangles of Harlem emerged during rehearsals when Astaire cast three shadows due to multiple light sources. This inventive idea, conceived by choreographer Hermes Pan and Astaire, added depth and visual richness to the performance, showcasing their creative collaboration. The interplay of shadows accentuated Astaire's movements, enhancing the number's artistic impact and making it a memorable sequence in the film. This innovation in choreography highlights the meticulous planning and artistic ingenuity behind the iconic dance routines of the 1936 movie Swing Time. In the iconic Never Gonna Dance sequence from the 1936 movie Swing Time, Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire performed a mesmerizing routine that captivated audiences. However, behind the elegance lay grueling rehearsals and multiple takes. According to Rogers, the demanding nature of the routine led to her shoes filling with blood during numerous performances. The climax of this number, requiring 47 takes in a single day, pushed Rogers through demanding spins that caused her feet to bleed. Astaire's insistence on continuous camera shots posed a challenge during the close-up finale, notably evident as the camera swiftly adjusted when the dancers reached the tops of winding staircases. Despite the glamour on screen, the dedication and physical toll behind this breathtaking dance sequence remain a testament to the commitment of these legendary performers. The original concept for Bojangles of Harlem in the movie was far more elaborate than what ended up on screen. It was meant to be a parody featuring various stylized sets representing heaven, hell, and jungle locations, all involving the character Bojangles traveling through them. This grand concept required 33 scenes and was set to include many routines with iconic Bill Robinson settings, particularly involving stairs. However, due to the expense involved in constructing and filming such an elaborate sequence, only a brief introduction to the character with an outsized bowler hat turning into enormously long legs made it to the final film. This trimmed down version hints at what could have been a much more expansive and visually intricate portrayal showcasing the creative ambitions behind the scenes. As the curtains draw close on our exploration of the 1936 cinematic gem, Swing Time, I invite you to journey into the depths of your own personal tapestry interwoven with the essence of this classic film. Perhaps its rhythmic melodies still echo in the corridors of your memory, or its timeless narrative continues to dance across the stage of your thoughts. This movie, a harmonious blend of music, dance, and storytelling, often evokes a myriad of emotions and nostalgia. Its vibrant sequences and the chemistry between its stars, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, stand as a testament to the golden era of Hollywood. What resonates within you when the enchanting tunes of the way you look tonight grace your ears? Does the elegant choreography of the dance sequences transport you to an era of grace and sophistication? Swing Time isn't merely a film, it's a symphony that orchestrates a unique connection with each viewer. Your memories, reflections, and emotions entwined with this cinematic masterpiece create a unique silhouette against the backdrop of its brilliance. I encourage you to share your thoughts, cherished memories, or even your recent revelations about swing time. Let your voice join this timeless melody, enriching the collective appreciation for this cinematic treasure. Thank you for your time and for allowing the magic of swing time to resonate within you. Your unique perspective adds another layer of depth to its enduring legacy. Keep dancing to the rhythm of this cinematic marvel and let its essence continue to inspire.